A Vancouver mother has filed a civil lawsuit against an elite all-girls private school claiming her daughter was relentlessly bullied by classmates and administrators did nothing to punish or stop the perpetrators. But the school is strongly denying the allegations. CTV Shannon Patterson reports. This was her grade 7 sash, blazer that they wear. Natalie Bull's daughter was eager to start grade 6 at Crofton House. She went from being so excited to go to school. Like she was excited about the uniform, she was excited to be there, to never going. She didn't want to go. Bull says the bullying started in grade 7 with a single classmate at the private all-girls school. I don't know why this particular girl started to target on my daughter. It was extremely hurtful. Of course, we went to the school right away. Ball claims that bully wasn't reprimanded and then others joined in, in the hallways and online. It was everything from nobody likes you at Crofton House, nobody wants you here, you're ugly, you're fat, you're a loser, to things like um, you should kill yourself and drink bleach. At the start of grade 8, her daughter was hospitalized after a classmate gave her Xanax at school. In the course of that, when they removed her clothing, they found that she had been cutting herself and they asked if she was suicidal and she said yes. Ball pulled her daughter out of the $24,000 a year school and launched a civil lawsuit against Crofton House for the bullying she says happened on school grounds. I wanted the school to be accountable for allowing this to um, basically grow within their school without curtailing it. The school has yet to file a formal statement of defense, but in an email to CTV News said the concerns raised were thoroughly investigated and Crofton House does not agree with the characterization of events as portrayed in the lawsuit and will provide a robust legal defense of the allegations. I mean, my daughter yesterday, she was like, Mom, after all of this, after seeing the case and seeing what I went through, all I've ever wanted was an apology and for them to say that it was not okay. She's at a new school now, her Crofton House uniform packed away. Shannon Patterson, CTV News, Vancouver.